Hi, my name is Brian Wood, and I've been a web developer for years, using Dreamweaver for years, and working with DMX Zone extensions for quite a while as well. And what I'd like to do is show you how you can utilize something called the Behavior Connector to work with different extensions to get them to work together. Now, you can see here that I've actually got the HTML5 slideshow right here, and I've got the DMX sliding panels on the right, and one of them is controlling the other. So I actually have the slideshow controlling the panels. Now we can go crazy with this stuff, you guys. There's so many things we can do, but you just gotta, gotta, gotta think about it. There's a lot of things we can get done with this. So what I'm gonna do is go back into Dreamweaver here and I've got a starting page. Now what I did was I created this ID, uh, this div with an ID called slide content. Pretty simple little ID right there. Now I'm gonna go to split view here so I can see this and go to my source code. There's my slide content right there. I'll put my cursor right in there, and what we'll do is we'll just, inside this div called entry, I'm gonna insert the HTML5 slideshow. So I've got it right up here in my insert panel. I'll just click on that. It'll put it out there. Now, I'm gonna use my own images. So I'll turn off DMX zone image resizer, but that is very handy. And I'll click on the new image slide here. I'll just add the coast, and I'll add one more here, new image slide, fountain. Now you can add as many images as you want, okay? It's pretty simple. Looks pretty good. Now I can change the titles, links, descriptions, all that, but I'll skip that for right now, and I'll click OK, and we'll get that out there. And I'll go to Design View, take a look at it, and we can see it right there. Now let me test it out. We'll take a look at it in the browser. Of course, I can click on Live View inside of Dreamweaver to be able to edit this. And there we go, not too bad, pretty simple. Now like I said, we can set all kinds of things on that. The, um, motion, you know, the actual uh, settings out there for motion, duration, slide duration, that sort of thing. But I want to get the other piece out here. So I've got this div. I'm going to insert my cursor right there. Go up to DMX sliding panels, and I'll click on that to insert it. And it's going to add some things out here, which is fine. You're going to see it puts it out there. Now, it's got a lot of stuff going on here, you guys. A lot of text, a lot of different things like that. So what I'd like to do is just get rid of some of the content in here. And the text appears to be white, which we can change pretty simply. That's because of my style I've got set. All right, um, I've got that right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of changing here. I don't want people to control this by these little buttons right here. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to make sure that I can see it down in the Property Inspector. And I usually click on the Containing Div for the sliding panels here to get it. And you can see I've got both panels right there. Now, what I'd like to do is focus on panel one. Whoops, just clicked on it there. There we go. And I'm going to come up and say, get rid of the page nav, and we'll get rid of the slide nav as well. And you can do whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. We can also change the design pretty simply. This is what I love about this thing. So I'll click on the iPad design and go to just like, I don't know, Apple-inspired light. I like that one. Take a look at it. You can see, pretty simple. There we go. Now, I'm going to test it out here. Go out to the browser. Save it. And there we go, not too bad. Now, I've got to get some content in there, which is fine, but let me go back. Now, I've already created some text here. I don't want to have to type all this in, so I'm going to come up here and type in the title. I'll just say Japanese Gardens, and this is up to whatever you guys want to do on your site, whatever kind of content you have. I've got a text file where I'm going to pull my content from. I've got what a location. Let me put that in there first. What a location, and I'll put a return in there and get a paragraph going. I'll put the rest of this text out there. Now, I could have typed this in easily, but I just want to get it done. And there we go. Looks like I've got some other content in there. I'll just get rid of that. There we go. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Now, I would probably need to change the formatting on this so you guys can see that. So what I'm going to do is Control-Option or Command-Alt, or Control-Alt, rather, or Command-Option. Click on that. You can see that B P color is white, which is unfortunate, but... Anyway, I could create another style. Let me just do this real quick. I'm going to click on P and just go in there and, and I'll make it dark gray or something like that just so you can see it for a second. And there we go. It's not too bad. Okay, now I'll go to, to the second one here. So I'll click on my div to get to the properties. Go to page two here. Get rid of this text. And what I'd like to do, like I said, is add the rest of my text out there. So I'll go back to my text. Pardon me. I'm kind of flying back and forth here, you guys. You can You can type in whatever you want. I just wanted to make it so it's easier on me so I don't have to type all this in. Copy that, and I'll paste my stuff. Okay, here's the idea. We got the, I got the sliding panel out there. Now let's go take a look at it and see what it looks like. You guys can put whatever you want in these things. So we seem to have it. There we go, not too bad. Now, 
I want to take the HTML5 slideshow and control this over here. So let me go back to Dreamweaver. Now, this is the best part, you guys. We're going to use the behavior connector to do this. So I'm going to make sure I can see my properties for the HTML5 slideshow. And I'll come down here and go to slides. I'll click on that. And you'll see that we've got our different slides in here. Now, if you want to add or edit behaviors with the behavior connector, you usually click on the paperclip for an image. So for the coast image there, I'll click on the paperclip. Now you're going to see out here we have available events here. And I want to say when the image is displayed, we're going to have it do something. Now there's tons of stuff in here. A lot of built-in Dreamweaver behaviors, things like that. But you will see in DMX Zone here, I love this, the fact that we can control other extensions. So there's the control sliding panels right there. Click on that and say sliding panels one. That's the name or the ID of it. And I can say, what do you want to do? Do you want to start the autoplay? Do we want to go to the next thing? Et cetera, et cetera. Now I can say scroll to, let's say, next page. I'll do that. I'll click OK. And I'll click OK. Now there's a lot of other things you guys we could we could have out here. And what I actually did before was I created a little bug that showed up, like a sale bug or something like that. And I had to change the property and change the background image. So every time a new slide showed up, it would change the background to something different, like, hey, buy now or something like that. So there's tons of stuff you can do. All right, I'll click OK. We'll go test it out. I'll click OK. Click on Preview here. Go take a look at it in the browser. Of course, we can go to Live View. And you guys can see exactly what it just did. So it just slid. Now, I just need to do one more out there. You're going to see it. The duration on this is too long for the video here, but you know you can change that too. So I'll go back, click on my slideshow, make sure it's selected. Come down here. I'm going to change the slide duration down here just so you can see it a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. All right, now I'll go back to Slides. And I'm going to go to the fountain image here. And I'll click on Add or Add Behavior. The image is displayed. Of course, we can do it anytime we want. I'll come to DMX Zone, control the sliding panels once again. Click on the arrow. And I'll say, you know what? Now, this time, you guys, what we're going to do is we're going to say, scroll to the next page. I'm going to say scroll to the previous page. If I say scroll to the next again, there's not another slide to go to. It's not going to cycle back around. So I'm going to say scroll to the previous page. If you had, like, I don't know, a bunch of these out here, a bunch of images that you're trying to go between, and let's say you had three images, and you get to the third image, and you want to go back to the first, you can say go to specific or scroll to specific page, rather. Now, the difference between scroll and go to, go to is just going to literally, bam, it's there. It'll just slide to slide. It won't even, you won't even see it slide. It'll just show up. Scroll will actually kind of slide it in, which is really nice. So let's scroll to previous, click OK, click OK. Click OK one more time. Now let's go take a look at it. I'm going to save it, go look at it in Firefox, see what we get. And you guys can see right there. Now, I have them flip-flopped. That's fine. But there we go. Pretty easy, you guys. If you have extensions out there, DMX Zone extensions, that you want to be able to use in conjunction, there's tons of stuff you can do. This is kind of a simpler example, but it is just something I wanted to show you and is really powerful. So get out there and get those DMX Zone extensions and try that behavior connector.